It's Ryan and Kathy back here in the kitchen. How's everybody doing today? We've got a really cool recipe uh, lined up for you guys. Um, we have some some rock bass that my friend gave gave me and Kathy gave us about four pieces. So we're gonna make a very simple uh, baked dish that uh, includes some a couple cloves of garlic. You want to have some room temperature butter. Uh, one small yellow pepper, one small red pepper, or a half of each, uh, one shallot, uh, some kosher salt and black pepper, a little bit of white wine, and some olive oil. We also have some calamansi. Uh, we grow this in our backyard. Um, it's very common in Filipino cooking. If you don't have this, it's not a big deal. You can use some mandarin orange, a little bit of lime, and uh, a little bit sweet, not so much sour. Um, but yeah, if you don't have this, no big deal. You can just use some mandarin orange. Um, so we're gonna just get, get to prepping. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna Add about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil to the pan. This has been going for a little bit, so it's pretty hot. We are going to just give the red peppers and the yellow peppers a head start. Get the garlic fragrant. Cook the shallots a little bit. We don't have to cook it all the way. We're just giving it a head start. We just want to sweat it out a little bit. We can add a little bit of salt. Smells very fragrant, smells delicious. We sauteed our vegetables. We're getting ready to do the, the rock bass. Uh, we're getting ready to bake the fish. So this is the fun part. So it doesn't have the skin on it. Um, I would prefer it to have the skin on it. it I, I think it cooks a little bit better, but um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. This was given to us as a gift. So we're gonna put that line down on the bottom. We're gonna come in here with our vegetables. So we got the calamansi. So this is about four of the calamansi. And just in case people can't get calamansi, you can substitute it with lemon. So we're gonna put a little lemon in there. Do a little lemon. Some salt and pepper. Our butter and our white wine, and then we're gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna cook for about 10 minutes on 350 degrees. So we're gonna do white wine. Drizzle of olive oil. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna make a sauce. It's gonna make its own sauce. Here we go. So now we're gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes on 350 degrees. The sauce kind of just Around the outside, around the outside. Okay, so we got our final plating here. We're just gonna grab um, a couple sprigs of basil. This is just gonna add just a little bit of brightness, freshness, just roll it up, kind of like a little mini cigar. There we go. Okay, so. Here we go. Moment of truth. We're gonna dive into this. We're gonna taste it. Look how pretty that looks, guys. Look how, look how nice that flakes. It's nice and tender. We're gonna get a little bit of that wine sauce, a little bit of the red pepper. There we go. Give this a try.
Very good. The bass is um, nice and tender. It's cooked all the way through. There's a good um, combination of the wine, the butter, the garlic, the shallot, um, some sweetness from the peppers and the basil that we put on at the end. Uh, it took about 10 minutes from start to finish. 10 minutes in the oven, you just cut up a couple of veggies. We, we're serving it with some uh, corn on the cob, some sweet potatoes, so this is, this is very easy. Let me give my camera person a bite. Put in the wine sauce. Just a small bite, honey. I'm gonna go in there. Yeah, it tastes good, honey. Delicious. Very good. So, give this recipe a try, guys. Very easy. Um, we there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He knew we were finishing up. So this is a very easy recipe. You guys give this a try and let us know when you try it, how it turns out. So. So thank you guys for being here. Please give us a, a, a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to us. And we'll see you on the next episode. So have a great night.